Hey guys, welcome back to the BMG Loft, and today we are doing a review of the Warm Audio WA87, and uh, this is we're just going to be testing it as a voiceover right now, and over the course of the next several weeks, uh, I have a lot of tracking sessions and vocal sessions, and we're going to be using it in various uh, different outlets, putting it to the test, and uh, hopefully cap capturing some good audio and footage of that. And it will be a continued review. So this is just the first of several for this microphone and uh, other warm audio gear that will be coming down the pike as well. And uh, as you can tell by the name, it is cloning a uh, uh, famous Neumann microphone. And it's not the newer AI version. They, they decided to go with the uh, vintage because they feel that it has a little more uh, rounded warm tone. And I'd have to agree with them. And uh, they've done an incredible job. Uh, this thing is built like a tank. It's use, they're using top-notch stuff. Uh, for microphones in this price range, um, the, the, component, uh, is, the component choices are, is no comparison. Even down to the hardware, the shock mount is built better than most shock mounts that I've gotten that are uh, in the budget of a grand and below. Um, it even comes with uh, two different mounts. The, the, the old thin little kind that's just on the little post that's uh, real small with no actual shock mount and it even comes with adapters in, in each one for the different size uh, different size mounts on different uh, stands and uh, m most micro uh, microphone manufacturers make you purchase um, you know <clears throat> separately in addition as, as an option or it, you never see it included they even included that and of course um, you know, the the sound the sound is is uh, is the gravy for this particular model and it's uh, it's incredible um you can tell as i get closer and, the, and this is in cardioid uh it, it it the proximity effect really is not very prominent even <clears throat> as you get real close and uh uh and still captures um the tonal nuances of the voice very well without it being uh, just very <clears throat> the uh, the the off axis coloration is very uh, minute as if you move around and 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 off axis a little bit it actually stays pretty 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 good you you lose a little high end which is typical but uh, all in all I mean it, there's not a ton of uh, off axis coloration on this microphone and uh, uh, that that's a big plus um, it has omnidirectional cardioid and uh, figure of eight pattern it has a 10 db pad and a 80 hertz um, high pass filter i'm not sure what the slope is on that this is uh, just a absolutely incredible microphone uh, for the money and <clears throat> uh, it's very normal because with 87s especially on vocals and, and voiceover type stuff for me the ones that i've used in uh, over the years it's it, as you it, when you are within a close proximity doing close intimate recordings, I've never had uh, an an issue with real bad proximity with U87s, and this this stays very true to that. Even as you know, as I keep getting closer, it stays very, very, very even. And uh, that's in cardioid. I mean, so you know, if you put it in Omni, pro proximity effect should should never be an issue whatsoever. But it, it's very impressive the uh, where it's at even in cardioid. And, um, you know, uh, uh, I really can appreciate the fact that they're trying to, to build such incredible um, micro well, gear, period, just the, all the gear that they do, and how authentic it's staying to uh, the sounds of what they're doing, and then even improving it and adding uh, different features on some of their stuff that isn't on the original stuff. Uh, <clears throat> so I I'm excited to be doing a bunch of reviews down the pike for Warm Audio, and... Um, the next test for this mic, we will be doing, uh, I think next week I'll be getting some footage of micing it on cabs and uh, uh, different instruments, and then a few weeks after that we'll ha be digging into some vocals, and I'm going to shoot it out with a uh, U87, and we'll we'll compare the results and, and talk about it on here. So as you can tell, though, I mean, it's uh, the, the no proximity issues really whatsoever, no, no hard P-pops, and uh, a very, uh, very smooth sounding. The top end is sweet, but it's not sibilant. 
Um, and, and also, I should mention, you know, no no EQ, no compression, no nothing. We're just we're just running this straight in uh, <clears throat> into the Apollo Twin Mark II, and uh, it, there's no emulations or anything. We're, we're going straight into the clean pre, and just uh, using adequate amount of gain here, and just going as colorless as possible, and just trying to get the true tone of the microphone. And again, you know, the that mid-range presence is is there. It's smooth, but there's not that there's no nasal to it. Uh and the top end is, is very nice, very sweet. And uh, I'm excited to try this on a bunch of different sources. It's it's just amazing what they're doing with this for the quality of uh you know, at quality to uh uh price ratio. It's just it's incredible uh, i'm very excited for this company you know they, they've been amping up over the years a lot of hype and, and a lot of people catching on to it and uh it's easy to be skeptical about something that um you know it, it, when, when it's so much cheaper than than what the other uh competitors are it's skeptical to be like yeah okay that's gonna sound right at if not better in in many cases, uh, you know, in shootouts that I've seen with with fellow colleagues here in Nashville, they can't even tell a difference. And in some cases, after the blind test, when they revealed what it was, they chose this equipment over the vintage equipment and the even the, just the newer name stuff that's uh, priced so much higher. So I'm I'm just I'm just really excited for this, and it's what a wonderful opportunity it is for. Uh, People trying to build studios in their home and maybe just record their bands, are wanting to, to start doing this, and it's exciting to be able to capture such good quality uh, at at a price that folks like that will be able to afford. So I'm looking forward to again lots of uh, more demos coming up with this and uh, other equipment. And uh, if you guys like this, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And um, comment below on what you think of the microphone if you have one. And, uh, you know, feel free to share your, um, you know, your concerns, your whatever issues you might be having. Uh, I'd love to hear about it. I'm sure Warm would, too. They're very receptive to uh, feedback. So, uh, again, guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And comment below if you have the microphone, if you're interested in, interested in the microphone, and if you have any questions about it, please uh, give us a holler. Uh, if I can't answer it, I will ask Bryce, and uh, he will definitely be able to answer it. And uh, until next time, guys, keep it grooving.